The spotlight hit center stage at Tesla's annual product reveal event, but no one was prepared for what came next. Amid cheers and flashing lights, the curtains lifted to unveil what could only be described as the most daring surprise of the year, Tesla's first ever electric motorcycle. Dubbed the Tesla Motorcycle by Elon Musk himself, it roared onto the platform, silent yet ferocious in presence, cutting through the air with its sharp aerodynamic form. This wasn't a typical Tesla event, this was something entirely new, a radical departure from the car-centric path that Tesla had been known for and it left the audience breathless. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Elon Musk, wearing his signature black jacket and unflinching confidence, stepped forward and introduced the motorcycle with characteristic flair. He didn't have to say much. The machine spoke volumes on its own. Sleek, metallic, and futuristic in its design, it exuded the same minimalist elegance Tesla had perfected across its vehicle lineup. But there was something rawer here. Something untamed, with its low-slung chassis, razor-sharp edges, and flowing LED light panels, the motorcycle looked more like a vehicle from a sci-fi movie than something ready for today's roads. It was a bold signal that Tesla wasn't just dipping a toe into the motorcycle market, it was cannonballing straight into it. The industry had long speculated whether Tesla would ever attempt to crack the motorcycle market. For years, Musk had been cautious, even hesitant, often referencing a past motorcycle accident as a reason for staying away from two-wheel ventures. But with the explosion of interest in electric two-wheelers and the undeniable rise of brands like Zero Motorcycles, Energica, and Livewire, Tesla's silence had started to seem less like a decision and more like an omission. That silence shattered completely with the deafening debut of the motorcycle. From a technical standpoint, the motorcycle's unveiling felt like a masterstroke. It was built on a bespoke lightweight frame, incorporating a unique battery placement system that ensured balance and agility, an often difficult feat in electric motorcycles due to the sheer weight of battery packs. Yet Tesla managed it with precision. According to Musk, the center of gravity had been tuned obsessively for optimal handling, creating a ride feel that would rival the best gasoline superbikes. The crowd watched in awe as a Tesla test rider took the motorcycle through a tight sequence of turns on a demonstration track, its body leaning into corners with surgical finesse, its acceleration eerily silent but visibly powerful. The numbers alone sparked immediate comparisons across the industry. With a 0 to 60 miles per hour time under 2.5 seconds and a top speed exceeding 200 miles per hour, it wasn't just built to compete, it was built to dominate. Range anxiety, often a concern in electric motorcycles, seemed obliterated here. The motorcycle boasted a range of nearly 300 miles on a single charge, thanks to Tesla's next-gen 4,680 battery cells and an ultra-efficient motor system. Regenerative braking had been taken to new heights too, reportedly using AI-driven adaptive systems that adjusted braking behavior based on riding style and terrain. But it wasn't only the specs that stunned the crowd, it was the experience. Musk described a haptic feedback system embedded in the handlebars, designed to communicate road texture, traction levels, and even turn-by-turn -turn directions without the need for screens or audio. Riders would feel the road in a way that redefined human-machine connection. And then there was the helmet, a smart device, fully integrated with Tesla's neural interface vision, offering augmented reality navigation, voice command integration, and full Tesla ecosystem connectivity. It was less a helmet and more an extension of the rider's senses. Tesla's motorcycle wasn't just a bike, it was a statement, a shot across the bow of the motorcycle world. For decades, legacy brands like Harley-Davidson, Yamaha, Honda, and Ducati had dominated the two-wheeled scene. They had experimented with electric options, cautiously and sometimes clumsily, often failing to capture the hearts of traditional riders or tech-forward newcomers. Tesla, in one dramatic reveal, had outpaced them all. By fusing raw performance with cutting-edge innovation, it sidestepped the pitfalls of legacy design and reimagined the very essence of what a motorcycle could be. The motorcycle also hinted at Tesla's evolving view of mobility. While cars had always been the centerpiece, this new product showed a clear interest in micro-mobility and agile transport solutions. Urban density, traffic congestion, and the rising cost of living in global megacities were all pushing consumers towards smaller, more efficient vehicles. Tesla had long explored concepts like the Tesla bot and underground transportation, 
but this was the company's first true leap into nimble, personal, real-world transport. Musk made it clear that the motorcycle wasn't a side project. It had its own dedicated engineering team, its own production roadmap, and would enter pilot manufacturing as early as the second quarter of the next year. He spoke of gigafactories adapting existing production lines to accommodate two-wheel assembly, and new testing protocols developed to address the different safety dynamics of motorcycles. Even the Tesla app was being updated with features tailored to two-wheeled Tesla owners. Route planning for motorcyclists, real-time weather data overlays, lean angle tracking, and even community ride-sharing features. The design language of the motorcycle bore the unmistakable DNA of Tesla. Angular yet fluid, aggressive yet balanced, it carried the kind of visual punch that made people stare. Its lighting system was fully adaptive, morphing between daylight running patterns, high visibility emergency strobes, and subtle nighttime modes. It had no traditional side mirrors. Cameras handled that, feeding visual input into the helmet's heads-up display, while blind spot warnings buzzed through the handlebars. The brake lights weren't just lights, they were communication systems, dynamically adjusting brightness and pulse based on deceleration force and proximity to other vehicles. From an environmental standpoint, the motorcycle underscored Tesla's vision of sustainable performance. The entire construction process focused on recyclable materials, low emissions production practices, and even vegan leather for the seat and grips. Solar charging options were hinted at, with rooftop charging docks for city riders who lived in apartments or shared housing situations. The integration with Tesla's existing supercharger network gave the motorcycle a vast support infrastructure right out of the gate, something no other electric motorcycle brand could offer at that scale. Tesla also unveiled a custom riding suit designed for motorcycle riders. Created in collaboration with SpaceX material scientists, it featured lightweight graphene composites, built-in impact protection, and climate control fabrics. The suit wasn't just protective, it was intelligent, capable of tracking rider vitals, sending automatic distress signals in case of accidents, and even adjusting internal temperature based on weather conditions. It was a fusion of fashion, function, and futuristic ambition. Like everything else in Tesla's growing empire, the implications of this launch echoed far beyond the Tesla fan base. Motorcycle journalists and tech analysts alike recognized that this wasn't just a product, it was a disruption. It threatened to shake the very foundations of an industry that had, for all its thunder and chrome, been slow to evolve. Startups in the electric motorcycle space faced instant irrelevance unless they could match Tesla's specs, connectivity, and price point. Traditional giants suddenly found themselves playing catch-up in a game that had just shifted dramatically. Tesla's decision to price the motorcycle competitively was another shockwave. Musk revealed that the base model would start under $25,000, with a performance version reaching just above $35,000. That placed it within reach of a wide demographic. Commuters, hobbyists, even younger tech enthusiasts who'd never considered owning a motorcycle before. And with Tesla's financing options and subscription-based insurance offerings, ownership became not only accessible but seamlessly integrated into a digital lifestyle. Tesla didn't stop with just the product either. It teased a new mode in the Tesla app, a ride cloud system. This cloud-based feature would allow motorcycle riders to upload routes, share riding patterns, coordinate group rides, and even gamify their commutes with leaderboards and digital badges. Safety data, riding efficiency, and performance metrics would be anonymized and fed into Tesla's neural network to help refine rider assistance systems and predictive safety protocols. The ripple effect of the motorcycle's reveal started instantly. Stock prices of competing motorcycle brands experienced sudden dips. Social media buzzed with millions of impressions, and Tesla showrooms reported a massive spike in foot traffic and inquiries. Not for Model S, 3, X, or Y, but for a bike that wasn't even on sale yet. Influencers, tech reviewers, and professional riders began speculating about performance benchmarks, real-world usability, and customization potential. Some of the most excited reactions came from an unexpected demographic, non-riders. People who had never considered a motorcycle found themselves enthralled by the motorcycle's design and technology. The silent operation, smart helmet, safety innovations, and ecosystem integration reduced many of the barriers that had previously kept new riders away from two-wheelers. Tesla had rebranded motorcycling, 
not as a rebellious, dangerous pastime, but as a clean, intelligent, thrilling way to move through the world. Industry insiders understood immediately what was happening. Tesla hadn't just launched a new motorcycle, it had created a gravitational pull that would force every other player to react. R&D departments in Japan, Germany, and Italy likely lit up overnight with emergency meetings. Product roadmaps were revised. Startups recalibrated. Accessory brands began preparing for a new category of gear and customization. Insurance companies raced to build models for an entirely new rider profile, the Tesla Biker. Even urban planners and city officials took notice. A vehicle like the motorcycle promised to reduce congestion, lower emissions, and make better use of limited road infrastructure. Cities with Tesla partnership programs saw new potential in promoting electric two-wheel adoption. Charging infrastructure was already in place, and municipal incentives for electric vehicles could easily be extended to this new class of transport. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Tesla's motorcycle? Will it disrupt the motorcycle industry? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.